Is Kim Kardashian desperately trying to make a move on Usher? Kim recently attended one of Usher's concert in full glam, and rumors are going around that she's trying to start something with him. However, see, Usher has been in a happy relationship since 2019, so what's Kim doing? Well, insiders are saying that Kim is super desperate to get romantically linked to anyone famous because she's losing relevance. She's grasping at straws to get into a relationship, even if it's a fake one. Do you go on a dating app? How does Kim K get a date? I haven't really thought about it, but how does Usher feel about Kim openly flirting with him, and why is Kim struggling to find someone who wants to date her for real? Let's get into it. I don't think, I don't believe that. No one does. No matter of the fact, I think it's just some sort of clickbait. Kim Kardashian is working overtime to make headlines, and it looks like she now wants everyone to believe Usher is pursuing her. Rumors have been circulating lately that Kim's desperate to raise her publicity by any means necessary because ever since she and Pete Davidson broke up last summer, she's lost almost all of her social currency. The whole Kardashian Jenner clan has been struggling to stay in the spotlight, and Kim is reportedly panicking right now because the magic is gone. She can no longer command fans' attention. The Kardashian-Jenner women get the most publicity when they're dating someone new or dealing with relationship drama. But in Kim's case, it's been almost a year since she was romantically linked to anyone. After filing for divorce from Kanye West in February 2021, Kim started dating Pete Davidson. However, their romance fizzled out after nine months, and Pete reportedly dumped Kim because he got tired of her obsession with being in the spotlight. Sources close to Pete even claim that Kris Jenner was so desperate for a storyline for Kim that she tried to convince Pete to stage a tacky proposal in front of the cameras. Kris Jenner had picked out a ring and wanted to stage the Courtney and Travis style engagement for the show. The source said, adding that Pete found it tacky and kept kicking the idea into the long grass. Another insider from Pete's inner circle later told Radar Online that Pete now regrets getting involved with Kim, and he can't believe he almost fell victim to the Kardashian curse. The more he reflects on what he went through with Kim, the more Pete wants to pinch himself and ask what the hell he was thinking. The insider shared, his swagger was gone, and he seriously worried he'd become a long-term victim of the Kardashian curse. Of course, after all of this came out, Kim had to flip the narrative. So she went on a press run claiming that a bunch of lawyers and doctors were actively pursuing her, but that she simply wasn't ready to date yet. A bunch of attorneys, yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not ready. Kim said something similar when she appeared on The Late Late Show with James Corden last September. She claimed that she doesn't want her next boyfriend to be a celebrity, but rather a doctor or an attorney. But I think my next route will, I feel like I have to do something like go to different places. Clearly it's not working, whatever I'm doing, right? Meet a doctor, a law firm, I think it's gonna be like a scientist, a neuroscientist, biochemist, doctor, attorney, that's maybe what I envision. But what's funny is that Kim pushed this exact same narrative after she filed for divorce from Kanye and claimed that she was being pursued by royals and billionaires. Just months after Kim filed for divorce, the Kardashian source told Page Six that Kim was being bombarded with offers from prospective suitors. High-profile men were lining up to date her. People are reaching out through mutual friends and people that she worked with to set her up with everyone from a royal family member to A-list actors and athletes to billionaire CEOs, the source said. And again, Kim Kim claimed that the problem wasn't a lack of interest in men, but that she simply wanted to take a break from dating. However, now that Kim has been single for almost a year and everyone's talking about the Kardashian era coming to an end, Kim is reportedly desperate to find a new man, even if it means getting into fake PR showmance. In fact, there's a lot of speculation lately that Kim's younger sister, Kendall, and Kylie are also faking their relationships with Bad Bunny and Timothy Chalamet for PR. This is because the third season of Hulu's The Kardashians will premiere in May, and Momager Kris Jenner is allegedly thirsty for a similar storyline for Kim. Besides that, fans are also speculating that Kim must be desperate to reattach herself to another famous guy to distract people from the fact that Pete openly admitted he regrets dating her. Kim recently claimed that she was ready for a new romance and that the Kardashian insider told ET that Kim is more open to dating again and is putting herself out there. She's feeling good and confident and is in a great place, the insider added. Kim even claimed during her recent appearance on Gwyneth Paltrow's podcast, The Goop, that she hadn't ruled out getting married again and maybe even having another kid. Now, I feel like I'll definitely take my time, and I would only be okay with like forever partnerships as well. I have a lot of girlfriends that have been married, don't like the experience of it or the ending of it, and don't want to go through that again. So that's, I just don't want to ever say never, say never. But see, there's just one problem with Kim's plan. It looks like all those doctors, lawyers, and billionaires she claimed were pursuing her are now nowhere to be found, and she's reportedly struggling to find someone who wants to date her. However, since Kim apparently still cares more about being in the spotlight than having
having a real relationship, she's now allegedly trying to start fake romance rumors so she can stay in the headlines. It looks like she set her sights on none other than Usher. On Saturday, April 22nd, Kim attended Usher's concert in Las Vegas with her friends, hairstylist Chris Appleton and his fiance, Lucas Gage. Clips of Usher singing to Kim are now going viral. Kim showed up to Usher's concert in full glam, wearing a tight leather dress fit for red carpet appearances. You could tell she was more interested in getting snapped than enjoying the music. However, Usher did nothing out of the ordinary. He always interacts with people in the VIP boxes, so it's not like he was actually trying to make a move on Kim. However, rumor has it that Kim is the one trying trying to get the tabloids to talk about her and Usher. That's why she showed up to the concert dressed up to the nine and shared a bunch of stories from the event on her Instagram. Finally made it to see Usher, Kim wrote in one story, but my girls are mad they aren't here, so I just have to come back with them ASAP. But why is Kim trying to stir the pot when she knows Usher is happily in a relationship? Usher's been dating music industry executive Jennifer since 2019, and they share two children together. Again, Usher did nothing wrong at his concert, and getting close with Kim was just part of the performance. In fact, it looked like Usher didn't actually want to get too close to Kim or dance with her, so in the next few days, if you start seeing stories in the tabloids that Usher's interested in Kim, you'll know who's pushing these stories. Meanwhile, rumors also popped up recently that Kim's original plan was to get linked to a famous soccer player. That's why she flew twice last month to watch a soccer game, first to Paris and then to London. Kim and Kanye's son, Saint, is a huge soccer fan, so Kim apparently figured this would be a perfect opportunity opportunity to spark romance rumors with a famous athlete. However, that obviously didn't work because none of the players were interested in going out with Kim. Certainly, here's the properly punctuated version of the provided text. So she's now allegedly trying to get linked to another musician. It's really interesting how TMZ, who are allegedly on Kris Jenner's payroll, ran a story about Kim attending Usher's concert. They claimed that Usher was serenading Kim and that Kim got some very special treatment from the R&B star. Not only did Kim have one of the best seats in the house for his residency, she got an up-close and personal performance too, TMZ wrote. They also added that you could tell Usher enjoyed having her in the crowd. However, as we already pointed out, this wasn't special treatment at all. Usher always approaches celebs in the audience at his concerts, and this is why fans are now calling Kim desperate for trying to start fake romance rumors with Usher, especially since she's well aware that he's taken. Usher did not even invite her on stage. He just acknowledged her, one fan said. He definitely did not want the media to run with any Kim Kardashian story, another fan added. I think at this point, she's dying to date anyone. But how do you feel about all of this? Do you think Kim's trying to start fake romance rumors with Usher because she's desperate for clout? From Usher's concert rendezvous to her intriguing attempts at sparking romance rumors, it's clear Kim's on a mission to recapture the attention. But is this a genuine pursuit of love or just another play for the headlines? As the Kardashian era shifts, Kim's strategies to remain relevant become more creative than ever. Is she genuinely seeking a connection or is it all a strategic move to stay in the public eye? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and stay tuned for all the latest buzz. Thanks for watching.